all right what's up fools we are out here and where <laughs> where are we we are in highland park area highland park los angeles and this is the of course the continuation of the series within the series where i'm trying to interview everyone from my dpt cohort and today we have my buddy ramji hi how's it going good how are you I'm doing great um so of course the first question normally is uh how do we know each other but of course we are in the same class together so i've just been asking people um remember the first interaction that we had between each other yeah you showed up at my house asked you to interview me <laughs> stop it <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. I have a really bad memory. It was probably in C skills, where I just like, oh, look at that tall dude, <laughs> and I started talking to you, cause you were super tall, and I thought that was cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, I, I don't, I, I really don't remember either. <laughs> I just, I just remember you're, you're always nice, you're always smiling. Aww, that's like, so sweet of you. Thank you. So, definitely one of the people. I was like, all right. She's gonna be within the first batch of people <laughs> that I can probably coerce to do one of these with. I'm I'm honored to be interviewed today. Thank I you. I can't believe you chose me for this. <laughs> well, I'm, well, I'm, well, I'm choosing everybody. It just right, right right now the the priority is who do I think will say yes. So and then later I can, you know, bully the people who said no and oh, yeah, doing yeah, it yeah. later. Um, all right. So the second question is. Uh, Oh, man, this hill is a lot steeper than how it's going to be. Uh, second question normally is, uh, what's, um, what's kind of the trajectory for your career? And since we're all in PT school, we all want to be PTs. So perhaps can you tell everyone kind of what your prior work experiences are in? And then uh, what population you'd like to work with once you graduate? For sure. So... I studied environmental sciences in Berkeley and then I was like okay what do I do so also when I was in Berkeley I worked in a few healthcare environments in like a post-surgery unit in a dog and cat hospital you name it I probably did it so much experience <laughs> yeah and from those experiences I realized healthcare is a beautiful place I love working with people, but maybe being a doctor's not it. Um, then I went on to work in the environmental field and I ran into a trainer who referred me to this physical therapist. Mm -hmm. So I went into his clinic. I was like, wow, the things he's doing are super awesome. And I fell in love. I ended up shadowing him for a year, volunteering, just learning and just feeling like this constant drive to learn and grow and know more about the physical body mm -hmm. to help others heal themselves and progress in their rehab. And I was like, oh, this, this is probably it for me. At that time, I applied to APU, mm -hmm. got into PT school. And now, uh, after we've taken all the classes we've taken, I really like peds even though we just started it. Yeah. I love working with the kiddos because I am a kiddo. I feel like I can understand them a little bit more than adults. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I also am still interested in orthopedics because that's what led me here. So just curious to learn more. Now when I go into clinic, I'll get more experience and kind of own in on where I want to specialize. So looking forward to that. Nice. Um, so I guess to kind of get into a little bit more of the nitty gritty of this interview, uh, can you tell everyone a uh, cause or issue that you think is important, but you feel like it doesn't get the uh, necessary coverage or attention you think it deserves? Mm, that's a good, a cause or attention that's important but doesn't get the nest. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Yeah. I would say breathing, 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 um, understanding respiration mm -hmm. and its involvement 
in posture, its involvement in the autonomic nervous system, and for rehab in general. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, it's something I'm personally working on. And when I try different breathing techniques or breathing principles, it really gets me in the mindset and the posture to mm -hmm. do my rehab. So I feel like we haven't learned a lot about it in school. I don't know if it's a broad general problem in this universe. I would have to do more research and more studying. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I would tell people, let's study more about our respiration, how that impacts our neurological, our musculoskeletal systems, and how they all work in union. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess if I were to just kind of chime in a little yeah. bit, um, I think especially like in Eastern medicine with like Tai Chi, Qigong, like breathing does play like a very large role. And I know my mom, dang, I didn't know there's a big old pond up here. Yeah. Um, my mom has like tried to really um, kind of reinforce the idea of making wow. sure that you're deep breathing uh -huh. and not that it's like, just good for relaxation, but I feel like it's, um, I know it's not as exactly like scientifically backed or anything like that, but I think it does, um, like I'm a big believer in, in it, just like not playing um, just the role mm -hmm. in just the respiratory system, but just kind of yeah. helping to re regulate like the whole body. Yeah, 100%. And it, it's, it's, it's all those things together. So I'm not just saying breathing alone, right? but like, Where's our diaphragm? A lot of PT is now looking at the diaphragm positioning, or where's our rib positioning, or where's our scalp positioning, or where are we breathing? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's these kinds of thoughts that I'm thinking, and I have yet to dive into it and learn it a lot more. Yeah. So versus it being an issue for society, I don't know. For me, yeah, it's something I want to learn more and I don't see a lot of. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take you around the pond. Ooh. There's a lot of beautiful views here. And I'm excited to show you. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll go around though. Hello. 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 Alright, so I guess for the It looked like he was carrying like a two month year old or one month year old baby. Hello, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, is there fishing up here? Fish. Yeah, you can fish. There's some turtles. It's a, a great place to come mm -hmm. and meditate. Yeah, I don't want to poop on the other interviews, but <laughs> me and Katie, we went to Lakeview or okay. something. It's like near Long Beach. Okay. But we we were walking around this duck pond. Uh huh. That was like, it was it was like it was it was like a nice park, but there was like ducks everywhere which is cool but there was like poop just oh did like she take everywhere. you to don nobby park was it a big park yeah with some basketball courts here mm. and then a circle i i don't remember the name well, of the she park, lives near honest. cerritos and that area is notorious for the ducks pooping yeah so katie all the power to you. No, no, I, you I, no, oh. no, no, I found, I found the part. Oh, you found the part. <laughs> yeah. Cause... Hey, Katie just came. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Katie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's on me right there. Um, so real quick for the fourth question, uh -huh. similar to the third, um, but in this case, it doesn't exactly have to be an important issue. Okay. But is there a cause or issue that you are personally involved with? or you have been involved with in the past that you'd like more people to know about? A cause or issue that I'm involved in and would like more people to know about. Um, I would stray away from calling it an issue. Mm -hmm. I would speak more in terms of something that motivates me. Mm -hmm. And I think it's being um, taking the time for our bodies and ourselves, I think that's really, really important. And the way society works today, it, it, a lot of people have trouble, right? Mm -hmm. Establishing what they call is a work-life balance, is mm -hmm. being in the present moment, mm -hmm. and really nurturing your body. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like 
the people who understand their body better mm -hmm. are more in tune. And the people that don't are less in tune. Mm -hmm. um, and the way I see our bodies is as a gift, right? Yeah. We're all given this gift to be here, live on this earth. And it's really something I personally cherish. And I like the people I surround myself to cherish. And I hope that my future patients will take the time to cherish or at, re at least realize that there's, there's things they can work on, mm -hmm. right? And empower their bodies. And I think that's a big reason why I'm in this profession as well. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, and I guess just to end the interview, this is going to be the last question. Uh, can you tell everyone what your goals are for the future? They can either be short term or they can be as long into the future as you'd like. Uh, yeah, I get asked that question. Like, what is, what is your goal? <laughs> what is your goal? And it's it's a difficult question, right? Uh, I think my biggest goal, and it's very broad, it's very general, is um, to to live a purpose here on this world where I have served others um, to help them realize their potential, right, in rehab, in therapy, in mindset, and service people by being there for them, listening to them. And we've got some beautiful music here, and a dancer say. as well, and she is just here in the moment, serving her purpose. So I think that's Oh my gosh, what a beautiful way to enter uh, yeah. this interview. <laughs> Yo, when we, when we walked down, I was like, what's, what, what, what's, what's going on? But yeah, no, this, is, this is nice. I wonder if this is like for YouTube or something. For what? I wonder if this is like for YouTube or if it's for... Uh... Possibly, I've, I've never ran into an actual video game. Are they like a school project? Isn't USC close to here? USC is really close, yeah. yeah. Um, but did you want to add anything to that? or? I think she she perfectly ended this interview for us. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but so, thank you. Thank you for coming yeah. out here and no, interviewing. Thank and you then. for allowing me to bug you. And <laughs> Joining me here. Yeah. That's downtown LA, by the way. I'll say with the ending of the music, we'll go ahead and end it right here. And like I said, thanks to Ramji for answering my questions for me. And like I say, this, this series isn't without the people who allow me to ask their questions. And I really appreciate everyone um, sharing their experiences, sharing uh, what they care about. And hopefully um, all you guys at home learned a little bit something new today. I know definitely today we talked about some new things that we haven't talked about on other podcasts so i definitely enjoyed that and with that we'll go ahead and see y'all in the next one bye guys bye.